Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be starting a new series. It's called Man of Madan. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Uh, if you haven't saw, um, during the Dead Island 2 game, I'm going to have to postpone it for a while. Mainly because I lost all my save stuff, so I would have to start all the way over. And I'm not going to lie, I am not starting over yet. I need a break from it. I was really far into it too. I think I was getting pretty close to the end of the game, so that really sucks. Like, if that would have happened, like, kind of near the beginning a little bit, I would have been fine because, you know, I can just redo it. But no, <laughs> I am not going through all that again. Uh, will I eventually, most likely, probably in the next two to three months, maybe, roughly? Probably before the end of the year. I can almost promise that, but don't hold me to it because I'm not sure. So yeah, we are going to be starting a new game today. Uh, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy the series. This is a, this is like a, th I think there's three games. Man of Adon, uh, Little Hope, I think. Then what was the other one? Um, House of, House of something. I don't know. I know the two. Um, I think there is, actually no. Is there three? I think there's three or four games. I think they just had a new one come out. And I haven't played any of these games yet. Which is kind of weird because I played... uh, What was it called? The Quarry. That was a really good game. And apparently this is supposed to be... So yeah, let's just hop right into it, shall we? Here we go. That oh my god, that looks creepy. Forgiving, challenging. Death is. See, I want. I would do this, but I also want to kind of enjoy the game a little bit. So I think I'm gonna stick to like. Well, this. I'm assuming it's basically like normal. So we'll go with challenging. Alright, play with control plus A, okay. Yes, I use a controller, don't judge. Man, I'm in dead. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Buster. <laughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Does it look too dark? I think it might be too dark. Alright, uh, curious, tell me about my son. Uh, so, sure. uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? Okay, I'm not no, gonna lie, uh, it was way too fast. And glamour. I, I keep forgetting in these games you have to think a lot faster. Especially because I'm doing challenging, so I'm assuming. It's probably a little bit sped up, so I'm gonna, I might not read these out loud, so you're gonna have to read them out loud, because I'm just gonna read real quick and pick, okay? Good luck. Okay. 
I feel, and also, I feel like asking about your son. That's probably not what you want to do, just in case this is a legit person. Which, do I believe it? No. But you still don't want them to say, well, your son's going to die in about five years. So, you know, that's not something you want to hear as a parent. I think. Not that I have kids. Okay. Uh, dragon. Gotta go with the dragon. Tell me what you see. Looks like a fish? What the? So, okay, I guess I let go and put it down, okay. Your force may come from it. Definitely doom are sure to follow. Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Oh, hey, I said you should have. Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Cool. We got this. Like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Say what year this is based off of. I don't remember if they if they said it or not. I mean, oh yeah, let's turn around down a tiny bit. Oh, god dang it! I 
I think that whatever I did made it too quiet. Throw the other in the bridge and keep him there. That can't be good. Oh, now you know that can't be good. Okay. Explore the ship and find a way to the sick bay. Okay. Oh, that must be his son. Two pops. Come back soon. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh, but we'll see. Really? Alright, um, let's look around a little bit more, I guess. Alright, so... I'm guessing whatever that goo, or whatever that was coming out of that box probably is some type of ghost or demon or something so oh yep here we go my goal is not to get jump scared that's my goal am I gonna do it no am I gonna try no <laughs> okay oh let's see what happens so I'm, try I'm trying not to breathe so loud Go this way, I guess. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Oh, just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a. Uh... A corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Maybe they're under attack by people? Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's pretty cool feature. 
What was that? Was that a kid? <laughs> There's one thing I hate in horror games or movies. It's a creepy kid. I think we can all agree that kids are the creepiest and the scariest people in horror movies in horror movie history. Tell me if I'm wrong. There's nothing officially. I'm gonna pause the game for a second. Especially if it's a little girl, say about eight years old, wearing one of those white gowns or whatever, long black hair covering her face, just standing in front of the doorway when it's dark, and the parents just wake up and see her there. You're gonna tell me that's not creepy? That's pretty freaking creepy. Let me know what you think is the creepiest part of a horror movie. Scared. I'm not scared at all. You can't prove that I am. Hey, <coughs> Charlie, what the hell? Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Foo bar? Oh, that didn't last long, did it? That did not last long. And then so. Okay, starting now. No more jump scares. Ooh, creepy fog. That's always a good sign. God damn. Another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? I don't like this. <laughs> I do not hey. like this. Come here. Oh God, no, Charlie! Wasn't he just behind us? What? Don't look. Don't open it. 
It's gonna be a jump scare. It's gonna be a jump scare. Oh, I think he's having a heart attack. Or maybe not. Maybe. This is the real intro, okay. song. See, that was, that's what I'm talking about right there. You saw it. That's what I'm, I'm just saying. It's one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it mm -hmm. and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. 
You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. That Still, is very true. none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Oh, there's gonna be a mess. There's no doubt about that. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> oh, that had hey, a negative careful. effect. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? We haven't right, even met amigo. Julia, and she's my Calvary's favorite so here. far. Ooh. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. And two weeks, man. It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh... Can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About uh, finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go if you Go gut. with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. And if you do it and you make a mistake, hey. build back up from it. Ah, okay, that's Julia. Conrad, okay. Conrad, Julia, Alex, Brad, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. 
Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. He looks familiar. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> he... I'm Good to finally to meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Wanna crack a colon with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would've gone with minutes. Go with it, yeah. man. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Hey. Okay, same. I, I, I love beer. It, it's, I don't really think it's convincing, to be honest. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? We're gonna be um, honest. No, actually. Brad Never strikes me as before. someone who's Water honest. Virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be gentle. Uh, okay. I mean, better words would have been nice, but okay. Oh, okay, we got another one. But where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Oh, there's oh, Felice, Felice. That's it, right? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Well, she knows how to make a first impression, that's for sure. Good for her. <laughs> yeah, that beer was a to bad get idea. It all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Oh. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> OK, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As long as you're quick. I'm kind of on her side, anything. to be honest. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. right -o. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Okay. Oh, here, we'll talk to people up here real quick. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. Mm. 
Need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Dang, I want to go scuba diving now. Talk to Felice. Or we can check this. I totally did that on purpose. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. That didn't really give us too much info on what could happen, to be honest. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Sure, Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Twenty-five, eight. Mm. Hey, hey, back.
Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. <laughs> that was the dumb one. Tanks a lot. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey. That's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Oh, I probably should have took that. You're on oh, camera. Yeah. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Soon it will be you and me. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids. Good to go. Okay, Just good. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. It's actually a really bad idea to go in the water like that with uh, yellow on. Whoa, you good? Pretty sure sharks are attracted to it. That's why you should probably wear like darker colors, like usually like black or gray. So tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the planet. Yeah, I guess blue is kind hey, of alright. souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> Not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. We'll appreciate it. That's very kind of you to offer. I'm trying to answer all the questions like how I would. Conversation. Uh, That's my you know goal. What? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan in ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Talk to uh, Brad. Right? How's it going? Yeah, Knocked Brad. out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, 
Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. I just hope they respect the site. People died there. They understand the rules. They get it. But I'm not sure how much that actually matters to Julia. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. The graphics in this game look pretty good. I wonder what year this came out. Hey there. How's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. You need to mind the speed limit, Buster. Hey, I like life in the slow lane, too. Nice and slow. I'll see you later, Conrad. I hope so. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Weather looks clear. Let's go down here again, see if there's anything we miss. Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? Uneasy, I don't like it. I don't that like that at all. Card. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that?
guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first <laughs> oh i'm julia now i get to say holy shit alex we did it i mean can you believe it it's a dream come true <laughs> let's not waste any time not exploring go 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 Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Must have been like his wife. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Julia, come on! Give them credit. They got quite a bit of jump scares in this game already. Gotta be. I like it, but I also hate it. Crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Ooh, a bullet, I think. Yeah. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Okay, I'm assuming we gotta go back over here. I'm curious to know what's going on on top with those people. He's holding something. Oh my gosh. Leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Nah, we're not gonna do Maybe it. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Oh, here we go. We gotta get out of here, now! Reef shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. Usually, in a moment like this, is when a shark comes out of nowhere and takes him, but this isn't a shark game, so I don't think it's gonna happen. At least, I don't think. I guess we'll see in about two seconds. Uh I don't, I guess. Oh, he's proposing. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? I, I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. I feel like she would say yeah, to be honest. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Yeah, we gotta go. We okay, gotta go. I'm going. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, 
Hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Oh, it's a grill. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh, my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for, like, one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. All right. We are going to end it there for the first episode of Manima Done. Uh, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Peace.